were all young guys. When we went in, all we wanted to do was just fly. And I wasn't thinking about we were doing anything and, and important. And uh, it wasn't until in my later years when I really started thinking about it and the significance of that whole mm -hmm. experiment as they refer to it, training these black guys to become pilots. Right. And then the success we had overseas. Little did I realize at the time that we were doing something that significant. And it wasn't until those years when things like this began to happen and, and it dawned on us, well, boy, we are in the forefront yeah. of integrating this country. And perhaps our biggest legacy is what we really had to overcome to become pilots. Because this whole thing, it was felt that this big experiment was going to fail and fall flat on its face. Mm -hmm. They'll never make it right. as pilots. And that was really one of our biggest motivations is that we cannot fail. We just can't. So was it the sensation of flight that you enjoyed I, or being able to control the airplane or I don't know. It was I was flying an airplane, and after I had soloed, I said, I have achieved what I've always wanted to do, and from there on, it just got better okay. and better. And the airplanes got bigger and faster. And the faster they got, the better it got. Okay. We generally thought we were invincible. Generally. And that was the general thing guys used to talk about. And we used to talk about, no, they'll never shoot me. I can outfly any of them. You join up, fly your mission, eager beaver. You were hoping that you would run into enemy aircraft. Because we all used to say, if a bunch of enemy aircraft come up, that's DFC day, Distinguished Flying Cross day. We're going to get some victories. <laughs> but we were eager, eager beavers. I never had any apprehensions on, um, you know, most of the flights. Uh, yeah, granted, like on the one I was shot down, on your strafing mission, you know there's a risk involved, mm -hmm. but that's in the back of your mind. I mean, that's the least on your mind. Yeah. Your strafing ground targets will not blowing up locomotives and all of the rest of it. Yeah. And it isn't that you enjoy doing it, but you're doing your job. Is there concern <clears throat> that those years and the Tuskegee Airmen will be forgotten in future? Are you a little concerned well, about that? Well, we certainly hope not, and we hope no. that part of our legacy is all the things that we had to overcome. And we overcame an awful lot of obstacles. So how do you, how do you look back on those years with the Tuskegee Airmen? Oh, there are these, oh, those were the best years of my life, okay. really. Yeah. It was a good life. I wouldn't have traded for nothing in the world. Yeah, uh, I was fortunate, and uh, uh, I did look death just as straight in the face as you can look at it. Uh, and I tell everyone, I said, but I survived. Oh. Yeah, it was a good life. I've got no complaints, no complaints at all. Life has been very, very good to me. I've been very fortunate. Yeah. yeah.